Okay, this is pretty exciting. It is Invictus Week here in Star Citizen. And finally, we've got the DrakeCon. Or, I like this. I think it's Drake. I call it DrakeCon. It's the Drake Defense Con. So, DrakeCon just sounds. I don't know. Is that better? Maybe. Um, but if you don't know, so all week we've been having uh, the Invictus uh, Expo Hall filled up with manufacturers. Been really awesome checking it all out. But Drake, the manufacturer, uh, don't actually get an invite to that. So they actually have their own independent con, and uh, it's slightly in a different place. And it's pretty cool because Drake's kind of uh, an outlaw in that respect. Like they're they're kind of. Uh, they're not invited to the Grand Expo of Invictus, but they turn up anyway, and I love, <laughs> I just love that. They're just like, yeah, so, I don't need an invite, I'll just invite myself. So yeah, the Drake Defense Con, you may have seen it at some point, but this is where you'd spawn ships on Area 18. But this is where the Drake Defense Con is. It's kind of cool, I've never been anywhere like this, so... Oh, I've been to a Drake Defense Con before, but I've never been in this area of Area 18, so this is all new to me. Which is rather exciting. Oh, that went really quiet. It was really... <laughs> that was really weird. Oh. Cool. Um, anyway. So, yeah, Drake. Nuts and bolts manufacturer. Um, you know, budget. Held together with a bit of string is the, the idea, I suppose. But... Wow, this looks awesome! <laughs> oh, man, the scaffolding and... Dude, that looks sweet! Nice! So, yeah, on the left here, we've got all the Drake Cutlass variants. So we've got the black, I believe. Yeah, the black. So the black is like... Honestly, this is kind of all you need in the verse. Like, kind of does everything. Uh, the only thing it doesn't do, and we'll touch on this in a little bit, is have like a, like a med bed. So, yeah. I mean, you can fit so much in this vehicle. Um, Vehicle-wise, not everything, but you can fit a lot, and then obviously you've got a bed to log out of. You can fly this thing solo. You can fly it with a friend or two. Uh, it's a great star citizenship, honestly. It does a lot. The only problem is it's Drake, so I'm really looking forward to when we get a ship this size. Um, I'm looking at you, C1. That isn't Drake. So next up, a personal favorite of mine, the Cutlass Steel. Everybody hates the ship, I think because, uh, I don't know, it's kind of a less useful version of the <laughs> Drake Cutlass back because it's got no room for vehicles. Uh, as you can see, when you go in, uh, it's quite cool, like, as a concept, it's a dropship, so I like the idea of being able to uh, sit people down and then we're all going to roll out. We've even got, like, a Gatling gun here, but you can't put any vehicles in it, so it dramatically reduces the practicality of the ship. It's cool, but just not, it's just not that useful yet, so I suppose. Until, like, maybe ground combat becomes a thing, then maybe. And then we've got the Cutlass Red edition, although it's kind of black on the side. Yeah, here we go. You see how it's all nice and red? That's kind of cool. Uh, and this is the ambulance variant, so this is a rescue ship. And maybe, arguably, this is the go-to ship. Um, it doesn't have a very high tier med bed, it's only tier 1, so it's the same one that's in the, uh, C8R. So you can increase your hydration and stuff, in fact, I need to have a drink, let's have a lay down. So if you lay in the med bed, you actually get your hydration and your food go up. I think, right? There we go, see? Ha <laughs> ha! Thank you, Drake! Wonderful. What they're actually giving me to hydrate me is another question. So, that's kind of cool. Again, you give up the practicality of having space for a vehicle. Um, I don't think you can fit a whole lot here. Um, but you can fit cargo there, so that's pretty nice. And obviously, you've still got the front habitation section with the the beds. I'm sorry, I need to wear <laughs> like an undersuit with a helmet so I can freaking turn on a torch. Alright, there we go. We've got a torch now. Brilliant. Um, so yeah, same same ship, just a little bit of a variant, which is cool. And then we've got a really cool version, and the reason is the cockpit actually has this kind of dome. This is the police variant, basically. It's the blue one. Uh, it does come with blue lights, sirens. It's a bounty ship. 
There you go, you can see some of the lights there. But the really cool thing about this ship is I think it's going to get a lot more use soon. And that is because you're going to be able to put your bounties in these kind of like, I don't know, chambers of doom. I, I don't know what else to call them. And um, yeah, I think that's pretty neat how it's going to work. And I have no idea. Obviously, it's not usable yet, but it's on. It's coming online fairly soon, I think. Um, I know they're working on bounty hunting version 2 soon, so that's cool. But yeah, look at this cockpit. When you get in the pilot seat here. I might turn on the sirens, actually. Look at that cockpit. Holy. Like, this is arguably one of the best visibility ships in the verse. There's, like, nothing. And you've got a small console in the middle. Really good. Let's turn it on here. Uh, I don't think the lights are working. That's a shame. No. But, yeah, that's a really cool ship. Love that. So yeah, that's all the Cutler ships. They're awesome. Uh, then we have the... Can I not get up here? What the hell? We have the Drake Caterpillar. So I've made a couple of videos... Oh, stairs right here. I've made a couple of videos on this ship. It's a massive cargo ship. Uh, but it's about to really change. And the reason why it's about to change, I believe, is we're going to get a tractor beam. I th is it on this side or this side? I don't know. One of the sides will have it. Uh, yeah, it must be on this side. Um, it's going to have a massive tractor beam somewhere, and maybe here or something. And you'll be able to, like, lift up cargo into the Caterpillar, because as you can... Oh, I don't know if I can open it. Oh, yeah, I can. Here we go. Open. So, at the moment, obviously, you can't really put cargo in. But if you were sat up here, and the cargo was, say, sat there, you'd be able to pick it up. And move it and put it in where it needs to be, which is really cool. Um, also, I think at some point it's meant to be modular. So you'll be able to change out different modules in the section. So here's a section, there's a section, uh, there's a section, and then the front is its own section. So that's kind of cool. I don't know what that's going to look like, but Caterpillar is a freaking sweet cargo ship. Very nice. But yeah, and then we've got the Drake Cutter, a fairly new addition to the game. This is a little starter ship here. Uh, it's I absolutely love the everything's exposed, the cabling. Uh, the detail on this little tiny ship is kind of incredible. I'm not 100% sure I'm a massive fan of, like, these curves, like, everywhere. It's a very curvy ship. Like, when you compare it to the Buccaneer, which does have some curves, to be fair, but it's like... It's a lot more angular and, well, we've got a metal panel that slaps on there, so we'll just slap that on. Whereas the Drake cutter here looks a little bit more refined, I guess. And maybe that's just a progression of Drake as a manufacturer, which, if that's the case, is actually really, really cool. Um, but yeah, you can definitely, it definitely feels on the outside a lot more refined. I don't know if you guys agree. Um, but it's a great little starter ship because you've got a little bit of cargo space. You've got the bed, uh, you've got so much detail in the interior. It's just really cool just to kind of look around. And then you've got the, you know, very typical Drake elevated cockpit, which is really nice. And actually, the seating position is not too bad. So, yeah, love that. Really nice ship. Perfect for a starter. And uh, if you're not too worried about looking... You know, fancy. It's a great little, <laughs> it's a great little starter ship. Then you've got a ship that I've actually bought today, uh, the Drake Corsair. Not Corsair. What am I talking about? I did also buy the Drake Corsair again because uh, I melted it for something else, but I've rebought it. Um, I've got the Drake Herald. Okay, that's awkward. I need to actually stop doing that. It's a. Hang on, one more time. <laughs> it's a data running ship with massive rockets. I've done a few videos on this ship, and I actually really love this thing. The reason why I love it is more of a practicality reason. Like, it makes my, I say job, of making YouTube videos so much easier. Because if I suddenly want to make a video over on Microtech, um, it can take literally up to 13 minutes uh, to get there with some ships. The Drake Herald, however, is much faster. So it's actually a reduction in my workday, uh, this thing. So it actually serves a really good purpose. Look how disgusting that is. Holy, I don't know what's that, maybe that's a texture error, but this is just 
Ugh, disgusting. I love it though. There's just so much detail in these ships. I love the Drake Herald. Like I said, it's a data running ship, which might be a bit of gameplay we're getting soon. I really hope. And I hope someone at CIG listens to this pitch. I hope data running is timed and I hope they work it out so it's really tight in terms of like how quickly you need to deliver the data because it kind of will invoke the same gameplay as quantum mining of like if I don't get this data here, uh, wow, you're not going to explode. Oh, maybe we could <laughs> factor that in. We explode if we don't deliver the data in time. I think that would be really cool. I kind of like the, you've got a time limit to get from point A to point B. You need to fit out your ship the best way possible. And if you haven't, if you're flying it in, I don't know, something like a Cutlass Blue that's not specifically made to get places fast, you're going to explode. I think that would be cool. Let me know in the comment section what you think about that idea. Hang on. Have I, is this just a big hanger? Oh my word, sorry, I got myself totally distracted then. Oh man, that's clever. Ha! Huh. You clever little developers, what a clever use of space. I mean, I don't know if this is, I mean, I guess they're like, it's totally fine. They're just like, yeah, Drake borrowed a giant hanger for the day. Oh man, that's so cool, sorry. That's just really awesome. Um, I'm getting myself so distracted. Anyway, then we've got the Drake Buccaneer. Uh, love this little fighter. It's kind of a medium fighter. It probably doesn't hold up against some of the more powerful ships, like Scorpius, for example. But it is definitely a good little PVE ship. Uh, you've got a Gatling gun on the top. I don't know what's going on with that texture. I'm going to face this way. It's annoying. Um, you've got the Gatling gun on the top. You've got a lot of uh, hard points to attach some weapons. You've got some missiles. Uh, pretty flimsy, not very strong, but a lot of fun to fly. So, yeah, good one to rent, I'd say. Like, give that a fly and see what you think. Uh, next up, you've got the recently added uh, Drake Vulture. This is a salvaging ship. Really nice. Combine Harvester style. <laughs> uh, definitely evokes that kind of industrial um, vibe with the, like, visor slightly tilted forward. Um... The visor, you know what I mean. The window, and you got all the cabling again. This is a really detailed ship, and it's a light salvager, so it's solo. Although you could run it with two people, you can't fit that much salvage in. And you'd probably, if you were part of an org, you'd probably have like four or five of these running uh, to collect some good salvage. But yeah, you've got the nice interior and the classic cockpit, but. Yeah, I remember seeing this. I think it was last year we saw the ship before it came out. Uh, I think it was the first time we saw it, actually. So it was really cool being able to see it in the convention hall. But yeah, delivered wonderfully. Brilliant ship. And then we have Drake's capital ship, the wonderful Corsair. Um, it's a really unique special ship, actually, because the wings unfold in this really unique way. Uh, you can't land it unless you put the wings up, <laughs> so remember that, but it's got a lot of firepower for the pilot, which is pretty unique, and yeah, it's Drake's capital ship, really. Um, I love this ship, like I said earlier, I did actually recently buy this again, it was in my melted pile and I re-bought it, because the cargo space at the back is undeniable, right, you can fit a lot in here, which is great. Um, despite hating this section right here... Uh, with the components, like I really feel like I just hate this middle column, honestly, just because it it's a little bit claustrophobic in here. I don't know if you guys agree, but for me, I kind of wish this was just a room, um, and maybe this came down or so. I don't know. But is that even a door? It looks like a door. What is this? Oh, yeah, this is your um, your escape into the outside world. Peekaboo. Um, you know what I mean? Like, I wish they kind of removed this wall, maybe, and just moved that in here or something. I don't know. But I kind of really don't like you come in and then you got to go around. It just feels a bit claustrophobic. I love the ship, and I love the detail in the ship, like the cabling running around and everything. Like, it's really cool. I'm just not a fan of this room here. So, yeah, I don't know if that's controversial or not. Otherwise, this is probably the perfect ship. It's got beds. It's got cargo space, it's got turrets, it's got a lot of firepower for the pilot. Um, again, Drake's specialty here. 
panel on the floor, just kind of cables. They don't quite reach, so we've got an extension. <laughs> it's great. So, yeah, love the Corsair. It's really unique and um, does a lot. Also can crew a nice horde of people. But, yeah, I'm just not a fan of... Also, the best feature about this ship, actually, I think. If it's not the wings, is this. The fact you can do this. Here we go. Yeah, probably the best thing about this ship is being able to stand here whilst you're flying and watch stuff go by. That is probably the coolest thing about this ship, <laughs> if not the um, uh, the cool wings. Oh, hang on. No, I completely missed it. We've got the Drake Dragonfly here. The little single pilot bike seat of a craft thing with the pew pews on it. It's a pretty cool ship. Ship, vehicle, thing. Love it. <laughs> Right, so here we are, the concept hall. Um, display hall, I should call it. There's the concept hall. So, ah, oh, it's the Kraken. <laughs> oh, man. And you know what? Okay, so I'll let you into a little secret here, guys. And I don't know if CIG are going to care whether or not I tell you, but this is actually the full-size Kraken right here. Obviously, it's not finished, and it's only the exterior, and that is obviously subject to change. But, um... Yeah, it's the same. I believe if it is the same model that's in the Cousin Crows, it's actually the full size Kraken shrunk down. If you put this in a uh, 3D rendering program, you can expand this to a full size, and it is literally full size. Um, it's kind of awesome. Obviously, it's not refined, it's not finished. It's definitely, <laughs> it's definitely unflyable and, you know, wouldn't be ready for in game. But it's kind of cool to see it with the landing pads full size and all the rest of it. Hang on, that's just... Oh, yeah, that looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, so if you've never seen the Kraken before, you have all this... It's like an aircraft carrier, essentially, and you have all these um, landing pads and space to land your ships, and then you've got, obviously, the interior is really freaking cool. Look at the engines on the back, though. Oh, really... It's really cool. One thing I never noticed until recently is the docking collar is right there. You see that? I don't know. Let me know in the comment section if you've never seen that before. But obviously, if you go into the ship, you dock it here. And then you can walk in. It's got its own, like, docking collar. Kind of rad. Obviously, if you're using a Legionnaire, you could dock there and take over the Kraken. <laughs> but, yeah, obviously want one of these. I keep freaking missing it in the store. It's a super exclusive ship. Like, it's really hard to buy. And, um, yeah. I don't think it's in active production, but it's pretty cool. Oh, the other thing I've just noticed, which is really weird, actually, because it only came out last year. Where's the Drake Mule? Did the Mule... Like, do people not like the Mule at CIG? Like, what happened? I just feel like it's really odd. Like, it could literally fit it just right there, you know, or like even here it just seems a really weird thing that Drake I mean, I guess it's not military but then neither is the Herald, so or the Vulture so that argument is kind of mute yeah, where's the mule? hashtag bring back the mule <laughs> where is it? Unless I've, unless I've missed it have I missed it? I don't see it anywhere Sad times for the mule. It's been, it's been rejected. All right, so here it is, the Corsair. Beautiful, beautiful ship. Uh, let's have a look here. Ramp access. Boom. We've got a little mission here. Uh, I just wanted to give it a little fly. Maybe load it up. Um, boop. And, uh, yeah, just reminisce about how cool the wings are, because they are pretty freaking rad. But, yeah, I mean, look at that firepower, guys. They've got so many weapons, it's kind of ridiculous. Open up. Also, the amount of, um, detail here on the cockpit is just unbelievable. They absolutely nailed it. Looks awesome. Uh, anyway, let's do this. Let for the garage doors to open. But yeah, I really, really wish they fixed that corridor. If they fix the corridor, I think this actually might be my favorite ship in the game. Like, genuinely. 
because I really love the wings. Um, that's so cool. Are you ready? If you've never seen it before, it's about to blow your mind. Hang on. I think it's this button. Here we go. Oh, yeah. I think I accidentally opened everything. Hang on. Let me close that. <laughs> well, look how good that looks. Obviously, it's asymmetrical. Um, which would normally bother me, but... I don't know. I just It's kind of a quirky ship. And I kind of love it for that. It's awesome. Alright, look at this. How good does this look right now? Oh, it's awesome. Holy. i tell you what I really want, guys. And that is a uh, Argo version. An Argo capital ship, I guess. A small Argo capital ship. Let me know in the comment section. Would you be into that? I would buy that in such a heartbeat. Oh, my word. I'm not even sure what the use of that ship would be, but... I just really want, like, capital-sized Argo ship. I, I guess, okay, hear me out. What if we had a cargo ship that was, like, capital size from Argo, and it was kind of, like, the same footprint as this? I just love Argo ships. They're just bright orange and just look cool, and uh, arguably my favorite manufacturer in the game. I would just love that. Right, hang on. Neutralize. We've got a target. So, yeah, we're going to do some target practice, apparently. And we're going to have absolutely far too much firepower. Turn off the old, um... Do we have... Oh, we do have... Okay, cool. We have far too much firepower for this guy. Kind of hilarious. Oh, shoot. There we go. Kaboom. Oh, he's pretty hurt. Oh, my word. <laughs> We're trespassing. I'm hitting seven Gs right now. Holy. Woohoo. That ain't... That ain't nothing. Oh, he's going to blow up now. Kaboom. <laughs> oh, it's always satisfying. Hello. Yeah, you love to see that. That's great fun. Okay, we're flying to our next target here. I really want to see if I can get some nice cinematic shots. <laughs> Love doing this. Uh, but it's pretty tricky for PvE because they always fire missiles at you. Uh, but we'll give it a go. And we'll see. What I'll do is I'll probably avoid the missiles. Like, throw out the decoys. And then go straight into the cool camera view. I'm firing all the decoys. That actually hit me. That's so annoying. <laughs> Thankfully, they won't actually hit me with any more missiles, which is good, but... Oh, now we're getting shot up by the freaking... Oh, look at the cinematics! Oh, you love to see it. Hang on, let's get some distance here. Oh, that looks so good! Come on! Oh, it's got to hurt him, surely. That was awesome. <laughs> Let's finish the job. Oh, we've got to target him again, haven't we? Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. All right, there is more targets still. Let's get out of here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Why are you flying so close, bro? Cinematic mode. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, so cool. Oh, man. This ship should not be this nimble. It's kind of ridiculous. Right, where's our final target and bounty here? It is a little buccaneer. There he is. Come on. Oh, he's going <laughs> to. Hell yeah. That looked awesome. That was freaking pretty. Oh, yeah, man. The Drake Corsair. It's a great ship. I would, like, like I said, I was only... Oh, I lost the turret. That's interesting. Um, Yeah, I was only flying this solo, but you could have two pilot, two gunners on either side. 
plus, I think there's one in the basement, actually, if I'm not mistaken, right? Let's have a little look. Is there a basement seat? Oh, I think you, do you get in this and it goes down? Yeah, I remember now. So what does this pilot have here? A couple of badges, okay. Um, also, it's kind of concerning there's a self-destruct for this pilot. Okay, you know what? I was actually going to uh, stop the video there, but I want to load it up for an upcoming video, so I thought I'd just include this little segment here, but man, I'm just like really admiring the animations here of when this ship gets folded and unfolded. Like the, like the wing on the right kind of folds and then goes down. I don't know if you saw that, but watch it goes up and then the panels come down. Like, it's so cool. <laughs> I really hope more ships do interesting kind of things like this, because it's really nice to see. That looks absolutely ridiculous. And even the thing on top. I don't even know what that thing does, but... Yeah, even that moves. Yeah, it looks cool. All right. Let's go and load up here. Um, people have asked me, like, what do you think of the Corsair? And the thing I've said is... It's a bit of a faff, just because of the wings, but... I don't know. If you're into it, that's fine. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have spotted that. <laughs> but I've just seen. There's a... Uh... Oh, it's... Maybe this is the one I killed earlier. I don't know. I quantumed away and I came back. It may or may not be... What the heck? <laughs> Can you see that? What is that over there? Man, I need to do some exploring here. This is nuts. There's also a Lynx there. That's not what I intended to take, but maybe I will now. Oh, look at that for a view. Yeah, so... Possibly this is the Avenger I shot not that long ago. <laughs> I can't remember. I don't know where I quantum to in the first place. Oh, maybe not. Oh, there's loads of loot here. Ooh. So what's in... Oh, yeah, there's cargo. Mm, Alright, that's not interesting. But big box though. Hang on. Let's grab that. Can I... Oh, I can't... It won't let me use it because I'm in an armistice zone here. Oh, nice backpack. What's he got in here? This definitely wasn't me. I want the backpack grab. I've already got a backpack, but this is my backpack now. Yeah, there's a really weird bug at the moment with the... You're meant to be able to use tractor beams inside of armistice zones, but I think there's a weird bug right now where if you've already used it outside of an armistice zone, you can't then use it inside or something like that. I'm sure it'll get fixed in the next patch, but yeah, that's kind of an odd one. So... Uh, place... My backpack. Anyway... <laughs> Persistent enemy streaming. Pretty damn cool. There's also a constellation over there. I don't know what's happened here. This is kind of awesome. I'm glad I was recording for you guys. Sorry that this video is a bit longer than normal. Uh, if you made it this far, um, drop a like. So yeah, this is the new RSI links. Still on and working. And now, Ollie 43s. If this is you, by the way, drop a comment down below. Let me know. Oh, I can't get in, can I? Ah, oh, that's a shame. I do want to have a look <laughs> over here at this Connie to see if there was any loot. Oh, look. <laughs> that's a pretty bad crash, guys. Wow. This is awesome. Look at that. Blimey. Something really went down here. <laughs> that is so cool. Um, I haven't found any pilots. Oh, there's the Merlin. <laughs> you can't park there, sir. <laughs> All right, let's put it in the back. So, yeah, I'm going to do... I've actually got an orange paint to put on this, but I need to go back to area 18 or something to go and collect that. Um... Oh, I love how it skids. <laughs> so cool. So yeah, we're going to do some mining. And uh, actually, first of all, let's see if I can move this box 
Oh god, I might actually run people over here. If I run you over, I'm sorry. Wasn't intentional. Oh, okay. Oh, jeez. <laughs> hmm. If I can just push it out of the armistice zone. <laughs> anyway, I'll sort that in a minute. But first of all, because storage boxes are really good and you can't buy that size anywhere, I don't think. Oh, my word. Oh, the skidding. This is legit quite fun. Uh, let's see if I can reverse it, actually. <laughs> oh, man. God, this is harder than it looks, I swear. All right, there we go. And turn this way. There we go. Oh, nice. Perfect. Look at that. Oh, I love this game. Seriously. It might be possible to fit in a Fury as well, but that would be a bit of a squeeze to get two things in here. Oh, this looks perfect. Don't know what I was thinking. Loads of room. Loads of room. Right, that's loads of room. Uh, <laughs> get back a little bit more. I just need to be able to close the... Can I, I don't know if I can close the boot. This is the problem. <laughs> oh, now I've got myself in a pickle, haven't I? Hang on. There's plenty of room if I put it in sideways, right? Yeah, there's plenty of room. Right, forward a bit. <laughs> and then... Slide. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's actually pretty sweet. Right. Plenty of room. Turn off the engines. Get out. Right, I would say, guys, that is a complete success, right? We've got... <laughs> oh, we had even more room. We've got loads of room for the Fury. We've got the Rock. Um, it's the ultimate Wombo Combo. Oh, okay. I totally could have fitted in the other way. 100%. I didn't really... I thought for some reason this would come up to, like, this wall here. Yeah, we would have definitely had enough room to fit it in the way I had it. But, to be fair, this is a nice little layout. <laughs> oh, man. I'm sure Drake loved this. Anyway, even left myself a bit of room to get to the stairs, didn't I? Yeah, so there's that box. Can I, like, shoot it? No, I can't because we're not in the arms to zone. But I can use my engines here. To kind of fling it in that direction, right? There we go. <laughs> That's so cool that the physics work like that. Like, legitimately. I reversed back and it flung the box in that direction. Reverse boost. <laughs> oh, it's actual genius. And reverse boost. Reverse boost. <laughs> oh man, come on. How many games allow you to use reverse thrusters to freaking move a box across a planet? Not many. Alright, this is actually all I need. So, I'm going to just settle down here. And kill the engines. I don't want to actually... There we go, kill the engines. Oof. So we should be able to use our tractor beam now, which is what I did it for. Aha! Here we go. This is the answer, chat. So we grab the box. And I'm hoping it fits in this hole. Does it fit in this hole? <laughs> Just about. Uh, it's going to be real squeeze. Um... Don't ask me to get it out again. That's all I'll say. 
Um, if I stand on it... Uh, actually, no, that's a terrible idea. Uh, oh, God. Oh, it's... Uh, breathe in. Uh. Aha! And then we put that on the table. Oh, it doesn't fit there. Uh, we'll put this in the corner. There we go. <laughs> nice. Now we have a container of storage. Even though, like, arguably we don't really need the box of storage. Like, this thing has storage. But, hey, I just wanted to do something cool. And we managed it. So, that's a win. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.